Hi everyone, welcome to my channel Biocatalyst 2021. In the previous video, we started with biological classification starting from two kingdom classification which was given by Aristotle to six kingdom classification which was given by Woos. The earlier classifications, that is the two kingdom or the three or four kingdom classifications, they were called artificial system of classifications because in those classification, we, uh, the biologist just used uh, one characteristic or maybe two characteristics. So those classifications were insufficient classification. So the next scientist who or the biologist who gave the, the best classification was R.H. Whitaker. He was an American ecologist who in 1969 gave his five kingdom classification. In the earlier classification, um, um, all the algae or fungi or bacteria, mosses or ferns, they were all placed under plantae because they considered, those biologists considered that presence of cell wall makes an organism uh, a plant, which is correct. But still, all these organisms having a different uh, characteristics or diverse ca characteristics placed in one group was, uh, was not appropriate. Then um, they had also included unicellular and uh, multicellular organisms together. For example, uh, like Chlamydomonas or uh, Spirogyra. Chlamydomonas is a unicellular organism which has uh, chloroplast. And Spirogyra is also um, an algae which is uh, multicellular. But they were all placed together. So that was also inappropriate. Then... Um, even uh, there was no differentiation between the heterotrophs and autotrophs. They were also placed together. Though they had mentioned that uh, like heterotrophs, that is fungi, the cell wall is made up of chitin and autotrophs, that is the plants, the cell wall is made up of cellulose. But still, they were all placed in one single group. So R.H. Whitaker thought that this was not insufficient or this is uh, not a proper classification. So he classified the organisms and he took many uh, characteristics into consideration to group his uh, organisms and that is why his classification is known as natural system of classification. So we had discussed uh, this earlier also that what is natural system of classification? It is uh, such a classification where many characteristics or many parameters are taken into consideration to group a particular or different organisms. So let us see what his classification was. This is his five kingdom classification where he had divided the organisms into five groups. Four groups were already present before him, all the biologists who gave the classification. So there were four groups that is Monera, Protista, Plantain, Animalia, they were already there. But he had added fungi also into his classification. In kingdom Monera, he had added all those organisms which were prokaryotes. That is those organisms whose nucleus is simple. That is, they do not have a definite nucleus. They just have a DNA or RNA. And in protista, he had uh, placed those organisms which were all unicellular eukaryotic organisms. U eukaryotic organisms are those organisms which have a definite nucleus. That is, there is a nuclear membrane. And then... Uh, well, the nuclear material is present inside that particular structure. Then fungi, he included all those organisms that had uh, that were all saprophytes that were dependent on food uh, for food on dead and decaying matter. In plantae, he had included all the autotrophs and animalia, all the heterotrophs. Autotrophs are those which can prepare their own food by the use of sunlight, and animalia, heterotroph, that is they ingest, they uh, take the source uh, of food is from outside. So all these five kingdoms were given by Whitaker. Now, how did he classify this? What uh, particular characteristics or parameters did he consider? So let us study that. So there were three main criteria for his classification. That is, he used cell structure, body organization and mode of nutrition to classify the organism. So let's see um, by the help of this figure that how he considered this classification. Now when we look at this figure at the most bottom we see it is written uh, to the right Kingdom Monera. How did he get to Kingdom Monera? 
on the left we can see uh, th these are the characteristics that he has written so at the bottom when we see this is a tree actually at the most bottom uh, there is uh, the most primitive organism that is kingdom monera where he divided all the organisms based on first characteristic that he considered that is complexity of cell that is the cell which is most simple will be in kingdom monera and if it is a little complex it will go to the next category so in kingdom monera he he had placed all the organisms which were prokaryotes that is the organisms which do not have a definite nucleus so all those organisms were placed in kingdom monera now the more complex organisms that is whose uh, a cell had a proper nucleus they were in the other category that is the eukaryotes now he had to classify eukaryotes further so he used the next characteristic that is complexity of organism what does that mean complexity means whether this eukaryotic organism is made up of one cell or it is made up of many cells if it is made up of one cell then it is placed in kingdom protista which is the next kingdom and the other multicellular eukaryotic organism will be further divided into other categories based on the next characteristic so the next characteristic that he used was mode of nutrition that is on the basis of mode of nutrition he divided the other multicellular eukaryotic organisms into further three categories the kingdom plantae had all the multi, uh, multicellular eukaryotic organisms that could prepare their own food that is they were autotrophs all the heterotrophs or we can say the saprophytes were placed in kingdom fungi and then all the heterotrophs or the organisms that ingest food were placed in kingdom animalia so this is how he classified all the organisms and the base on on the basis of this mode of nutrition he named these organisms um, into producer decomposer and consumers that is producers were all green plants decomposers were all fungi and consumers were all uh, those who were animals so this is how he made his classification which was the best classification given at that time and that is why we use this classification till today